Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 81 of new Selenium ID that is wait for element not editable command. Selenium ID has a huge list of commands and wait for element not editable is one of them. So what is the purpose of using this command in Selenium ID automation? The purpose of using this command in Selenium ID automation is to wait for the element to get non-editable. Okay. So by default, the UI element may be in editable state, guys. But in real time case, if you if you want that UI element to be in non-editable or disabled state, then you have to wait for that UI element to get non-editable. Right. So let me show you a practical example here on the sample application like homeware.blogspot.com. If you scroll down a bit, okay. So if you scroll down a bit, there is some there is a button like my button here. If you if you see you are able to click on this button, that means this button is in editable state. But if you want to, okay, if you want to get this button into non-editable state, you have to I have created this page in such a way that if you click on this try it button, after three seconds it will get in disabled state you see non editable state so it's taking some time after clicking this try it button this button is taking some three seconds of time to get to non editable state from editable state to non editable state you have to wait guys so in such kind of situations where you want to wait for this button to get non editable then you have to use this command known as wait for element non editable command okay so guys what i'm going to do now is i'm going to practically demonstrate this scenario in selenium id okay Click on the Selenium ID to launch. Select the start option that is create a new project option. Give any project name here as you wish and click on OK button. Once it is fully launched, select the first row. And before doing anything else, we have to first open the application URL. For that, Selenium ID is providing a command known as open command. The purpose of this command in Selenium ID is to open the application URLs. Now give forward slash here. This forward slash stands for the base URL of the application. So when this and uh, when this complete statement that is open forward slash is executed, this will open the base URL of the application like this. Okay, the base URL of the application will be opened like this. Once the base URL of the application is open, okay. So what we need to do next, guys, we need to click on this uh, try it button, right? Then only it will get uh, disabled after three seconds. Click the button try it button to disable the button after three seconds. So after clicking this try it button, it will take three seconds for this button to get disabled or non-editable state to go, go into the non-editable state. So firstly, we need to click on this try it button for that. Uh, let me inspect this try it button. And this is HTML code for this uh, try it button as you can see here. Okay. And uh, 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 by seeing the HTML code, I feel like I have to create some XPath expression guys. Uh, so I will do one thing, uh, select this and say control F and uh, give some XPath expression, create some XPath expression for this. I will copy this try it here. And here I will say double slash button text is equal to text between the tags is equal to try it whatever the thing that i copied from between the tags i just provided this to this method okay this is the tag name simple guys. simple one guys okay so this is the xpath expression uh, if you press enter here as you can see try it is getting enabled uh, getting highlighted okay this is the xpath expression for locating this try it button so copy this and here say simply say click xpath is equal to XPath expression for locating this uh, try it button. Okay, so click command here is click is one of the commands in Selenium ID, guys. Uh, Use it for clicking any UI elements on the web page. Here in this case, we have provided the locator for this button that is try it button. So using this uh, locator to click click command in Selenium ID, click on this button. Okay, now guys, next thing is once we click on this try it button, what will happen? This will wait for after three seconds. This button will get into the non editable state that is disabled state. So now what we'll do here is after click, uh, since we have already clicked, we cannot directly, okay, we cannot directly verify that this button is in non editable state or not, right? Instead of that, we have to use this command like wait for element. We have to wait for the element to get it non editable, guys, okay? We have to wait for the element to get non editable. After clicking on this button, it will take some time to get into the non editable state. So we have to wait for the element to get into the non editable. When I type this command, guys, automatically 
the default 30 30 seconds that is 30000 milliseconds is getting added to the value okay you don't have to do anything so what is the u element uh, that that you are waiting for to get into the non editable state that is my button right this is the button that will get non editable after 3 seconds so we have to wait for this button to get non editable so inspect this button guys we have to give the locator here so as you can see here uh, let me inspect it again okay so let me cancel this so that it is confusing right click on this my button and select inspect so this is the html code of this uh, button guys it has some id so we can directly use the id locator id is equal to give the locator value okay now now this wait for element non editable command will wait for the this my button okay wait for the my my button to get into the non editable state so maximum time that it will wait is the 30 30 seconds guys okay but here anyhow the button will get into the non editable state only after three seconds so this command will not wait for entire 30 seconds it will only it actually checks for the button whether it got uh, into the non editable state or not that is in three seconds it will be done right so it will only wait for three seconds guys even though 30 seconds is a maximum time if in case it's not uh, getting into the non editable state even after three seconds or so it can wait up to maximum 30 seconds okay actually it wait for the element to get non editable state for uh, whatever the time that is within the 30 seconds but uh, okay so but but this is a maximum time guys okay it will not wait for the maximum time but uh, it will wait only for the element to get non editable okay whatever comes first that will be done something like that either 30 seconds or whatever the time that is below the 30 seconds the maximum time is 30 seconds here so after after this we will verify okay verify element not editable okay there is another command guys Ver verify wait for uh, sorry not this one verify element not okay not present uh, it's not this one verify element uh, verify editable and verify not editable okay this is a command yes okay verify not editable is a command so what is the purpose of this uh, command you don't uh, verify not editable doesn't require any seconds okay so verify not editable is the command and uh, what is the locator the same locator right is equal to my button same button okay so this verify not editable command i already explained in one of the previous videos guys it will check whether this button is in editable state or non editable state if it is non editable state it will pass this okay so this will check whether the button is in non editable state or not okay that's the purpose if it is in non editable state that means we have really waited for the element to get non editable and uh, this will pass okay so simple command guys to check whether this button is in editable state or non editable state run this test so provide the base application url here start playback will be a bit fast i guess so it will wait for uh, three seconds max and you see after three seconds it got uh, into the non editable state and uh, it didn't wait for the complete 30 seconds and uh, finally it verified that this button is in non editable state okay what if i didn't wait okay what if i didn't wait here and if i run this so we are not waiting for the element to get into the non editable state that means before before three seconds only we'll check we'll check whether this verify non editable or not okay since it will be in enabled state because uh, you see you are not waiting for this element to get into the non editable state that means this button will be in editable state and this command will fail okay because it will is in editable state you see it got failed because we didn't wait for the button to get into the non editable state before the button got into the non editable state we have verified that it is whether it is not editable or not since it is in editable state still so it got failed okay so this is how guys uh, this is the purpose of wait for element non editable okay command so if you want to wait for an element uh, u element to get into the non editable state then you have to use this command in selenium id automation so this is how guys we have to use wait for non editable command in selenium id in the next video session i am going to explain the other command that is wait for element visible command so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye